welcome to the BCS Careers Inspiration series. These um, videos are all about showing you some examples of different people who work in technology, find out about their job, what they do and how they got involved in it. So today I'm joined by Laura and Gemma from Microsoft and uh, let's kick straight off please Laura. Uh, if you could just tell us a little bit about your job and what it involves. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I currently work in the London Paddington office and I've been at Microsoft since September 2018. Um, since joining, I've completed a level three digital marketing apprenticeship. Um, and for that role, I worked within the Xbox go to market team. So supporting with the marketing channels across different campaign launches, promotions um, and working all across Europe. So um, with people all across the world as well. Um, since then, I have now moved on to a level six degree apprenticeship and I've changed roles. Um, I now work for the Microsoft 365 subscription, so most people know it as Office 365. Um, and another part of my role is SEO, which is known as search engine optimization. So what we do is try and improve our web pages so that they rank higher on Google and obviously get more traffic um, and more revenue in the long run. Thank you, that's great. And how about you, Gemma? Hi, I'm a level three digital marketing apprentice. I started back this November, just gone, and I specifically work within commercial digital stores as a product marketing manager. So I create all the marketing assets for B2B marketing within digital stores. This can include display banners, affiliate banners, uh, CRM, which is um, customer relationship management, um, so email marketing, and I also have a lot of involvement with um, the optimization of the customer journey on our store, as well as web analytics and analytics of different creative assets that I've created. Very busy, <laughs> it sounds like you are. That's great, thank you. And it'd be great to hear an example of something that you're actually working on at the moment, Laura. Yeah, um, so something I've just recently finished was the Microsoft 365 launch. Um, so that was when we rebranded the Office 365 subscription um, across all of our websites and our third party retailers so like John Lewis, Curry's. We had updates going live all at one time. Um, so my role there was to monitor it for EMEA. So that's Europe, Middle East, Africa, um, and trying to figure out if we had any errors when things went wrong, escalating them, and then doing like a post-launch analysis. So talking the through to uh, talking the through to the team, our progress, um, and looking at how much positive feedback we've had from customers as well. Mm, interesting. And Gemma, what about you? What have you been working on lately? So recently I've been working both with the SEO team and the site merchandising team to optimize the keywords both in the meta tags and the content of our pages as well as working with other um, markets and their site merchandisers to see how we can learn from their successes with their customer uh, customer journey optimization to try and improve that with our site. Mm, that's great, thanks. And the next thing I'd be interested to hear about is how you kind of got into the role. So were you always interested in doing sort of like a digital marketing role? Um, did you always know you wanted to go down the apprenticeship route? How did you really come into uh, where you are now? Um, I always knew I didn't want to go to university and that was because I couldn't think of a subject I wanted to learn and focus on um, for such a long period of time. So I figured an apprenticeship was the best route. Um, it's very broad and there isn't any limitations on what you can learn. Um, and also with so many companies doing it now, I thought that would probably be the best route opportunity wise as well. So um, I used a website called Not Going to Uni and saw that Microsoft were advertising a marketing um, apprenticeship. It didn't specify what it was in, um, just that it was in London. So I applied and then through that um, took part in the assessment day where we actually went up to the headquarters um, and then got the good news that I had received a place. Amazing, thanks. And how about you, Gemma? How did you kind of come into where you are now? So when I finished secondary school, I really wasn't sure where exactly I wanted to go, what career I wanted to go into. So I did a lot of research into what career path could be right for me. I did an online course during my first year of college to see whether or not digital marketing could be something for me. And I really enjoyed it. So I then attended um, some industry talks while I was at college, uh, which the college provided. And that was really useful and it really got me um, interested in it as a career. 
Um, through that, I then looked into how I could actually get there. Uh, what steps could I take? Did I want to go to uni or did I want to get an apprenticeship? And I realized that there were so many opportunities to get apprenticeships in digital marketing. And while I was doing that research, I discovered that there was a vacancy at Microsoft. And that really pushed me to sort of take um, have a go at that opportunity and see if I could actually get somewhere with it. I attended the interview in London, which was very scary, but um, uh, definitely an amazing experience and got the good news again that um, I'd got the role. Oh, brilliant. It sounds like it's worked out really well as well. Um, so the next thing it'd be good to cover is kind of what what kind of gets you up in, in the morning? What What do you love about your job? What's exciting about what you do? Um, I think for me, where my job role is spanned all across Europe, I love talking to people all from different cultures. Half of them I've never met before and some of them I've spoken to and feel like I know in person and like we're almost friends. It's quite a strange relationship we've, we've built across teams. Um, for example, my manager is based in Dubai, so I've only met him around five times. But we talk every day on Microsoft Teams, we have our webcams on and it, it hasn't... Um, damaged any type of learning that I've had as part of my apprenticeship so definitely just working with people from different cultures learning about what they do their lifestyle is really interesting. Mm, sounds really interesting and how about you Gemma what do you like about what you're doing? I'd say it's definitely implementing the theories that we're learning. So we learn so much about the different strategies for marketing and skills and tools. But during sort of the normal education system, you don't necessarily implement that. Whereas in Microsoft and as an apprentice, we get to actually use those skills and use them as an impact for the business um, and implement them. So that's really rewarding. Mm, sounds like it. Thank you. And um, it'd be interesting to hear about your kind of typical working patterns. Are you working sort of Monday to Friday, nine to five, or um, especially Laura working with the international clients? How does your kind of day or your week normally look? Um, my week has to be quite flexible due to time zones, um, but it's something that I always talk through with my manager and can change last minute. So at the moment, I work Monday to Thursday doing my job role at Microsoft. And then Friday, I have doing my apprenticeship work as part of the 20% off the job. Um, so I start a bit earlier in the morning um, just purely due to time zones. It suits better to connect with people. Um, and then I finish just before five. So um, I'm able to catch the train as well when leaving the office. So it works quite well. Um, I think that's what a good thing is around doing an apprenticeship. You can make it your own. Um, so whatever works for you is generally what, what goes. Mm, brilliant. Thanks. And how about you, Gemma? So I don't work as often with international um uh, colleagues just because I work within UK and Ireland commercial digital stores so time zones are often very similar so I work um, nine till half five generally from Monday to Friday with Fridays also being a study day um, I'd say the biggest difference at the moment is um, I'm not having to do the long commute because of working from home restrictions um, and that's definitely um, made my days a lot shorter <laughs> um, but yeah uh, that's my general day that's great. Thank you. And um, it'd be nice to know if you have any sort of tips or advice for anyone watching, whether they're kind of considering a similar career to you or if they're just not really sure what to do. Um, maybe there's something that you think, oh, I wish someone would have told me that when I was younger. Is there anything you might say? Um, I would definitely say be curious and be open minded. Um, a lot of the time when you're applying for an apprenticeship, there isn't a lot of detail around the job role or who it is you'll be working with or what you'll be doing. And when I applied for Microsoft, I would not have dreamt I would have gone straight into Xbox or even now working with a manager um, overseas. So definitely just be curious and remember that there's no expectation to know everything. That's the whole point of being an apprentice where you learn on the job and you apply the theory. So um, it's OK to say that you aren't sure about something. And that's what it's all about, really, just the learning and being able to implement it. Mm, brilliant. And how about you, Gemma? What would you say? I definitely say something very similar. Um, growth mindset um, is so important to understand that you're early in your career. You're going to make mistakes, but it's about learning from those mistakes. And also, if you're faced with a task that you're really not sure um, sort of where to go with it, instead of having the um, sort of give up attitude, have the can do resilient attitude, because at the end of the day, you can work it out. You just need to use that sort of problem solving mindset and ask the people around you. Be curious, ask questions. Um, and yeah, definitely the growth mindset. 
Mm, thank you. And then the last question um, for each of you, a little bit different. So, Laura, you mentioned that you've done a couple of different roles within Microsoft. You've done the Xbox side um, and then moved on to the sort of the office side. Um, how's that been for you, that transition of doing two different roles within the same organisation? Yeah, um, it was quite strange at first. Obviously, um, we're part of the same team, so the digital store team. But where I was used to have my manager sit next to me every day, guide me through everything. And I just started off at the business, so I needed um, quite a lot of reassurance and just to go through things. Um, within a year, my manager was then in Dubai with a four hour time difference and I didn't know him very well at all. It was a big shock and then also trying to adapt to a change in job role. So completely different where Xbox is all about trying to market the product and Office 365, it essentially sells itself. Um, so it's less about marketing and more about monitoring the performance. So it's very analytical based, but the transition worked well. Um, I have a manager in the office who I just sort of touch base with um, and she's connected very well with my real manager overseas so the transition was smooth um, and my new manager was very understanding as well walked me through all of the new processes and then over time um, I just grew more independent and it was a really nice um, sort of fit into the new job role. Mm, thank you and um Gemma, for you, you mentioned um, that you did a little bit of kind of research around the types of careers that you wanted to go into. Is there anyone you ask for um, careers advice or anyone you recommend like people have a chat to or anything when they're thinking about the different options for the future? Uh, yeah, definitely. So I use multiple resources. I think um, the people I ask specifically are definitely family and friends. Um, have a look at what jobs they do. Um, in my personal life, there was no one doing any sort of role that I was particularly interested in. So I then utilised um, the resources that my school had and my college had. So they had a careers advisor, which was really useful, who they're there so you can bounce questions off. They can give you um, sort of ideas and also allow you to to sort of have time to think about what sort of um, skills and, and um, role responsibilities you want in your career. Um, in terms of other resources, I also used a lot of online resources, um, mainly just because I think it's so important to not only think about um, a career as an idea that it sounds really good, but also to have a go at um, looking into what that career entails and maybe having a go at a course or uh, maybe talking to someone online who's actually been in that role who can help you um, decide whether or not it's definitely something for you. Mm, that's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, both of you. There's been some, some really insightful answers there and I hope it's been very helpful to the people watching. And it sounds like you're going to be very successful in whatever you choose to do. So thank you very much for, for your time and for joining us. Thank you very much thank for having you. us. Cheers. Thank you.